<laughs> I've got Darlene on the other line and we're just organizing the technology here. But I just want to welcome you to this evening's question and answer period on how to build an indestructible uh, referral uh, network business. And I'm really excited to share with you a, a bunch of things. Okay, let me just take a quick look at that. There we go. Streaming live. There we go. Streaming live. There we go. Thank you. So there I can see comments coming in and so forth. All right. Excellent. Touchdown. So, welcome. So this is an opportunity right now uh, to ping a friend. You know, if you got a friend that you'd like to invite to this uh, live Q and A, this would be the time to do it. So you could just take a couple minutes to just ping somebody and just say, "Hey, I want to take the diamond lane," you know, and then invite somebody to come with you, because I've got some really great distinctions for you and a couple of really key insights on what it takes to build an indestructible referral network. And uh, I've been fortunate. I've built one over the last 35 years. And I've helped hundreds and hundreds of agents build businesses where they're generating anywhere from 50 to 150 transactions a year from referrals. And there is absolutely a formula to do this. And I want to share a lot of that formula with you. So this is the opportunity right now to ping a friend, um, you know, invite somebody in to the conversation and, and, and we'll get started with that. So, and, and as you're doing that, you know, I just really want you to think about, you know, what, what is, um, what is the opportunity uh, for you and your business right now? What's, what, if you look really deeply right now, like where is the biggest opportunity in your business? at this point. So I'm just going to check a text right here. That's from Dan. I can't seem to find the video. Can you send me a link to share that with you? Who's that from? Oh, Anthony, <laughs> a friend of mine. Okay. Anthony, I'll get you afterwards. Um, so I'm going to turn that off right now. But uh, here's the, here's the thing is, is that in all, in all businesses, there's, there seems to be uh, three very distinct units of business. Uh, and this is something that uh, my friend Dean Jackson and I uh, co-created this about 20 years ago. And it was sitting around my pool in uh, Southern California and we were mapping out the entire process from the moment a person decides to buy a house until the transaction closes and then for the rest of their life. And we were trying to create containers for it. Like, okay, what are the individual units in which things occur for people? And so that's what we started to develop was this mindset of what hat am I wearing? Am I wearing the before hat, the during hat, or the after hat? Because they're very distinctively different personalities. In your business, I mean, in many ways, how many of you feel somewhat schizophrenic in your business? That there's so many different personalities that have to appear inside your business. So the before unit is that part of your business that you go hunting for business. This is when you are talking to strangers. You're talking to people who have no experience of you. There's no trust. There's no trustworthiness. There's no experience to base trust on. So when you're knocking on doors or when you're cold calling or when you're running internet leads or when you're doing an open house and a person walks into your experience, into your life, whatever it is, if it's opting in on a page, if it's a Facebook, whatever the experience is and they have no experience of you, you are in your before unit of your business. And the before unit has a very distinct personality. It's, it's a very targeted, scripted, well-developed salesperson. And there's some incredible training out there for you. I, I, I'm, I'm watching a lot of what some of these guys are doing. There's like what, what, the, what the fairy boys are doing and what Bethany is doing and what uh, a bunch of the other guys are doing. They've got some really great stuff, you know, basic stuff in the before unit. And I think it's really fundamental stuff, like how to talk to a person at an open house, how to, how to talk to a person on the telephone. We're going to take it up a level from there. I mean, those are great places to build foundation, but when you want to take it up a level, come to the guy who's the source. And that's why I'm going to do this. I want to take it to a whole nother level for you today. And when we look at our business and we look at that mindset that we have to embrace is, is when we're in the before unit of our business, who are we being? Like, what are we doing? How are we showing up that can convert a stranger to actually a person who trusts you, because that's what the before unit is. And how can we do that 
using a particular mindset. And I'm gonna discuss what that mindset is with you today and then give you specific strategies on how to turn a stranger into somebody who actually is moving in the direction of trusting you because that's the first step. They've got to have some level of trust. So we'll get into that a little bit. And then in the during unit of your business, the during is another hat, it's totally different uh, personality. That's the part of your personality that is responsible for creating an experience. <laughs> so from the moment a person lists their property with you, or the moment a person signs a buyer broker agreement with you until they go through the process of actually buying or selling a house or getting a loan, that's the during experience. And that's the opportunity where they get to experience you. They can actually say, I had a direct experience of buying a house from Joe Stump. I had a direct experience of selling a house from, uh, with Joe Stump. I had a direct experience of getting a loan with Joe Stump. They can speak from a direct experience. Uh, somebody in the before unit has no experience, so they can't speak from that. But a person who actually buys or sells a house from you, they've had the direct experience. And so in the during unit, how do you show up in a way? And what is your mindset? What is your language? How do you encourage, persuade, influence, talk to the people in your during unit so they easily and lovingly and gladly uh, recommend and endorse and, and give you connections into their networks of people? Because really that's what we're talking about. A referral business is you invite me into your network. You invite me into your life. You invite me into your friendships. And how can I get people and encourage people that I am trustworthy enough to do that in the during unit? So we'll tap a little bit into that tonight. And then also in the after unit, the after unit of your business is, you know, it's about relationship. It's about long-term relationship and very different than the before unit. It, so if we were to think of it this way, the, the before unit is when you hunt the, after unit is when you, you farm, you cultivate, you nurture, you, you build upon, you deepen. In the, in the before unit, you're going out to get a kill, to go out and get some business. Now, the, <laughs> the during unit is actually, you know, to keep on this metaphor, this is, this is the Skinner. You know, I, I love that metaphor that, you know, when you're hunting for business, then you, you take you take what you got, you bring it back to the during unit. Now they have to skin it, which means they have to take care of it. They have to, they, they, they have to debone it. They have to unpick it. They have to find out all the problems, any diseases, anything, any, any problem with the, with, the, with the catch or the kill. And then what we need to do from there is, is cook it, serve it to our clients. And so what I, I'm ex really excited about is sharing with you how these three units, the before unit, the during unit, all can work in harmony for you to build an extraordinary, indestructible referral network. So we're gonna talk a lot about networks, how to build these networks where they're all interconnected. Good. So this is gonna be uh, an opportunity for Q&A, questions and answers, and also a training on how to build an indestructible referral network. So we're doing two things at one time right here. And this is all part of the referral accelerator blueprint experience. And uh, what I produced a couple of days ago was a, a, a video, uh, we call it video number one. It's 53 minutes long. It really requires <laughs> your deep attention because what I want to share with you in that first video is, is what the future of real estate looks like. You know, what, what we know, what I know the industry will look like in the next three to five years. And if you can get and grok the concept of the direction we're headed, you will start to build an indestructible referral network. And so watch video number one. That's the key. Watch video number one all the way through all 53 minutes. And then on Friday, I have video number two coming out. And then on Sunday, video number three. So you got three great training programs and then I'll come in between and just kind of fill in the gaps and answer any questions or any uh, have any comments that you guys want to make so this would be the place to do that so we talked a little bit about the personality called the hunter that's the before unit of your business open houses for sale by owners expired listings door knocking uh, internet leads uh, anything that you're 
uh, engaged with a stranger, somebody who does not have an experience of you. When somebody uh, decides to work with you, something happened uh, that they now trust you. There's something happened when they say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna buy a house with you, I'm gonna sell a house with you, I'm gonna do a loan with you. Now they move into the during unit of your business. And in the during unit of the business, you're providing an experience for them. And inside that experience, you're deepening your trust. You're actually working to become trustworthy. So if you can get that concept that there's a difference between trust and trustworthy. If a person trusts you, they'll do business with you. If you're trustworthy, they refer and recommend you. If I trust you, I'll use you. If you're trustworthy, I'll take the risk of referring you to somebody. Now, trustworthy is something that you demonstrate. When a person lists their home with you or decides to buy a home with you or do a loan with you, they're basing their decision off of how they feel about you and what recommendations they have about you. They don't have a direct experience of you. Would you agree with that? They have no experience of you. So they're relying on their own capacity to decide, do I trust you? And, and, and many times that's the question we have to ask, am I trustworthy? <laughs> am I projecting trust? Uh, am, I, am I stepping into the zone where I'm saying to a person, you can trust me and you can trust yourself to make this decision. You can trust you that you're making the right choice when you work with me. That's the decision people are making when they go from the before unit to the during unit. Once they get into the during unit, now we have to create an experience for them. This is what we do to help people buy, sell, and borrow. And there is so many unpredictable things that happen during the experience. I mean, how many of you've had recently, you know, like some chaotic, you know, dysfunctional, weird stuff happen when you took a listing and during the listing process, maybe you got a buyer or a contract owner or during the buying process, unusual, one of a kind experiences that occurred. Like how many of you've had anything like that in the last six months where you went, gee, I can't, I can't believe this. This is like unbelievable. You know, like something happened inside the experience and that happens during the process. So how many of you've had something like that happen for you? Something, something happened like that. I had a guy the other day share with me that uh, he has a listing right now and uh, the mother-in-law who is like 85 years old uh, stays at the house on weekends. So they, they take her from uh, the, the senior living facility and they bring her home for the weekends. And so the seller's really tentative about showing the property on the weekends. And so he's kind of tiptoeing around this issue because the listing is important. It's a great listing, priced right, great neighborhood. And he's tiptoeing around this process. And he's, he's saying, he's, he's asking me, or not asking me, he's just saying to me, this is a real tentative situation because I really honor the fact that their, the, their, uh, their elderly parents are staying at the house right now and, and somewhat uh, disabled, you know, like it, it, this is, this is a, a very important time of their life and they're selling the house and I'm negotiating like oh, I can't show it to you during this time I could show it to you on I maybe on Friday morning but I can't show it to you on Sunday night and he's coming this is this is I'm creating an experience for people right now uh, for the seller I'm creating an experience and that's the unique thing about the real estate business that's so hard to duplicate every experience is different that's why I say good luck app agents good luck Zillow, good luck with all those uh, Silicon Valley companies that want to disrupt our business. You have no idea how much chaos is occurring inside the experience. And each one of you could, <laughs> you could give me story upon story upon story about the stuff that you had to deal with that are one-off. They're not duplicatable. They're one-of-a-kind experiences. Say yes. I mean, can you, I mean, can you just see that the during experience is the unique part of your business? It's the thing that makes you most valuable. 
And so in this during experience, we're demonstrating our trustworthiness. They trusted us to sign the listing agreement. Now we have to build trustworthiness so they'll introduce us, recommend us, share us with their friends, tell the neighbors about us, pass, pass it on to refer us. And so then that takes that person, when the transaction is complete, then they move into the after unit. And the after unit are all the people in your sphere of influence, all your past clients, all the people that know you uh, to some degree, more or less like you, to some degree, more or less trust you. So the question I love to ask is how many people are in your database? How many names, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses of people who know you? And then add the layer who trust you. And then add a layer who have already referred you. Because that's a really important question as a coach. I want to know is, okay, you've been in business for 15 years. And in the 15 years, you've helped 300 people. And I say, out of those 300 people that you've helped, how many of them referred someone to you? And you say to me, well, 30. And I would say, well, 270 people did not have an experience that was trustworthy. Or they had an experience, but it wasn't your intention to have them introduce and recommend you to another person, or they moved out of the geographical area and they're no longer around. And so this experience sets up the after unit. What you do inside the during unit depends much of what's gonna happen in the after unit. And you always know, I'll just give you a little tip on this, everybody. You'll always know that you did a trustworthy job when you get to the celebration, when you get to the celebration and your client is willing to write a review, put it up on Yelp, put it up on any social media page, put it on Facebook, put it on the LinkedIn. They're willing to do a content testimonial video. They're willing to put themselves on camera, taking out your phone and just saying, I got five questions I want to ask you. And as you've just listened to the question, I'm just going to record it. And they'll go, oh, I'd love to do that for you. And then you give them the five questions. We have a, a five-step process that we, we use to, to ask people to prompt them to great, get a great video. And then you ask for a referral. Thank you, Jesse Abanez, for that little formula. It's review, video, referral. And so if you are able to and you can comfortably say, I really would love you to write a review and put it on a social page. And if it's Yelp or if it's LinkedIn or if it's Facebook or whatever place that it would be in your local marketplace, would you be willing to do a video? Would you be willing to uh, recommend and refer me to the people that you care about when they need my help? And if they go, yes, 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 you know you've created an experience that is trustworthy. And that's a good indicator. So I'm curious. Uh, when you look at that, you know, what, what percentage of the people who go through the experience with you right now, do you uh, believe in your current business right now is your, your trustworthiness factor? That's a great question. What is your trustworthiness factor based on how many people would be willing to write a review, do a video, and give you a refer, referral? Only you can answer that question. What do you think that answer is? Because that is a, a really a, a important prerequisite to building a really strong network of people who are introducing and recommending you to others. So let's use this as, as a context for this conversation here. The referral accelerator is a strategy that works for all three of them. It's putting it all together. You'll be using the accelerator in your before unit your during unit, and your after unit. And that's really exciting because it's one key strategy and it's probably one of the only strategies that applies to all three parts of your business equally. All right. So let me talk a little bit about uh, the concept of networking. And there's a book that came out, oh, it's been about a year and the title of the book is called The Formula. And it's The Universal Laws of Success by Albert 
Laszlo Barbesi. And when I found this book, what I realized was the secret, the real secret to why some agents are super successful and while others really struggle. This, this revealed it to me for the very first time. So I started to research Albert's work. And what I found is, is that he's a scientist who studies networks. That's his, his life is just, just all about networks. Now I would not read this book. This is a textbook and I've gone through it several times and I'm doing my best to make sense of it. But this is all the, the math, all the, the factual data on building networks. And this book linked, I actually, I didn't read it. I listened to the whole thing on audio a couple of, the audible.com a couple of times. This blew me away. So when I put these two books together, the formula and linked, I got this brand new clarity about why some agents are so successful and why other agents are struggling so hard to build a referral business. And that's what I wanna to reveal to you and show you in the Referral Accelerator Blueprint program uh, exactly how you can build that network that the most successful agents and most successful lenders build. I wanna show you exactly what that looks like. So let me start to unpack it just a little bit for you. And then uh, you watch video number one that is already up and then on Friday watch video number two and then on Sunday watch video number three and then you'll have the whole training all put together for you. So. This is the context for building your network. So I've already thought this out a little bit and kind of pre-diagrammed it for you. And I'm using the metaphor of connected links, how we link things together. So in our experience, there are two types of people. There are people who have had a direct experience of you. We've already talked about that. People who know you, people who like you, people who trust you. you know, so if you look at inside your networks of all the people who know you, like you, and trust you, they have an experience of you. So there's one group of people who have an experience of you. It's called all your clients. People who have bought or sold a house from you. Those are people who have a direct experience of working with you. Now, is the experience one that is trustworthy enough that they're gonna recommend and refer people to you? Only you can answer that, only they can answer it too. And then we have our centers of influence. See, the people in our centers of influence have a direct experience of us, but not necessarily a direct experience of us doing our work, us actually helping people buy and sell a home. So I've got, real estate agents and lenders all over the world who are my clients. I have many, many friends all over my local community and in different parts of Southern California who don't even have a clue to what I do for a living. They, they know me as a CrossFit athlete. They know me as a SEAL fit athlete. They know me as a guy who hangs out and has coffee down at the coffee shop on Tuesdays. I have a men's group that comes to my house on Thursday night. We don't even talk about what we do for a living. They trust me, but they don't have a direct experience of me as, as a business coach, as a trainer, as a mentor, as a guide for others, but they trust me. Do they refer me to other people? Well, if they have a client who's a real estate agent, they perhaps would but not at the same rate that the people who have a direct experience of me. The people inside my community who are getting trained and getting coached with us, they refer me at a much higher rate because they've had a direct experience of it. Are you tracking with me on this? Because this is really important that when we look at our influence, we have clients and we have centers of influence. And in the buy referral only community, what we do is, is we have a program called the Essential Seven, the essential seven is our, our methodology of communicating with all of our clients and all of our spheres of people in our sphere of influence between three to five times a month. We have a meaningful connection 
with them through a multiple of all modalities, through Facebook, through text messaging, through email, through phone calls, through, through a video, through events, through birthdays, uh, all types of ways that we turnkey a system to stay in touch with your clients and your spheres of influence. Now, you can build a tremendous business, a tremendous business from your clients and your series of influence. If you have a large center of influence and you've been around the business for a long time and you got a lot of clients. <laughs> but absent of that, where do you get your referrals from? Who's got an experience of you? So what we find is, is most people have to go out and they have to spend a lot of time spending money on advertising and promotion to create some level of, you know, connection with people so they can help them buy or sell a house. Are you tracking with me on this? So what I want to show you right now is how do we build a business with people who do not have a direct experience of us? How do we do that? You know, people who may know you, but not a direct experience of you. And so I'm going to suggest there's two places that you look. And when you add these two pillars to your business, these rock solid pillars to your business, you now have referrals coming from your clients. You now have referrals coming from your sphere of influence and you have referrals coming from these two additional pillars. So if you're a brand new agent just coming into the business, I'm going to suggest that you start with this pillar. Start to build this network first. If you're somebody who has been in the business three to five years right now, and uh, your referrals are not coming in as fast as you'd like, I'm going to suggest that what's missing is this pillar. If you've been in the business for, um, oh, more than five years and you're very successful, you got a nice team, you want to double your business and you want to do it without spending any more money on expensive advertising and marketing, you want to add these two pillars to your business. And that's what the referral accelerator is all about. It's adding the additional pillars to your business. And so when, when we talk about an additional pillar to your business, what we're saying is this is a fundamental, you know, like if you look at a leg on a stool, like so this is a fundamental part of your future is this leg in your business. And so I'm going to reveal that to you. And then I'll share a little bit with you about uh, this particular pillar. And I'll talk more about that as we go on. So you ready? Because this is the future of your business. This is what Albert was talking about. When Albert said, uh, your ability to build a network, a network of people who have a vested interest in you being successful. Now, I want you to write that down. Build a network or a pillar in your business where those people have a vested interest in you being successful. So, what does the word vested mean? It means that they will do whatever they can to make sure you're successful because when you're successful, they're successful. I just want you to think about that for a minute. How many people are in your life right now that have a vested interest in you being successful? Jim Urban has 250. You know, Cindy Hayden has 100. 45, 150. Allison Click's got 100, 120. Beth Reben has 100, 120. And then that's how you, these people have these, these businesses where they're generating two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 referrals a month because they have a network of people who have a vested interest in them being successful. And that's what Albert says is, is that when you strip it all away, the people who are most successful have the most people who have a vested interest in them being successful. So who has a vested interest in you being successful besides your family? I mean, your spouse and your kids, you know, uh, your mortgage company certainly wants you to be successful because they, they need you to make the mortgage payment. Your, the, the payment, the company that's you know, holding the paper on your car, they want you to be successful because your success depends on you making the payments on their bills. Uh, you know, you get, the, you get the gesture, but outside of all of that, who 
has a vested interest in you being successful. And that's what the referral accelerator blueprint is all about, is accelerating that part of your business. And this is the, this is the rocket fuel for your business right here. So I'm gonna reveal it to you, and then we're gonna go a little bit deeper into it, and then we'll pick up this conversation again after you watch video number uh, two, which will be released tomorrow. Then we'll do a Q&A on Saturday, and I've got a really cool Q&A coming up for you on Saturday and another training on Saturday. So what I'm gonna reveal to you right now is the people who have a vested interest are all the people that are in businesses in your local area that you advocate for and who advocate for you. I just want you to let that digest for a minute. I, I, I just want you to look at, into your own experience right now, how many local businesses, and I'm talking about, in your mind, create a yellow pages in your mind right now, accountants, acupuncturists, barbers, beauty shop, carpenters, carpet cleaners, dentists, electricians, florists, garage door openers. I'm just going down the alphabet right now. You can open up a yellow pages right now and look at all of the businesses that are inside of there. And when you refer people to them and you advocate for them and you promote them, you take a vested interest in their local business, doing whatever it takes to help them out, you are now building a network of people who have a vested interest in reciprocating, giving back to you. And we've proven this out hundreds and hundreds of times. You're gonna be amazed that when you start to look at the opportunities that are right in front of you by becoming an advocate for the local businesses that live in your area. Now, many of you are doing it right now, but in a very reactive way. Uh, somebody in the during unit calls you up and says, hey, do you got a good handyman? And then you take out your phone and you send over a handyman. And you do that only because it's conditional on getting the transaction closed. And it's important that you get a handyman over there because he's got to fix some plumbing or he's got to fix the roof or something like that. And that's important. So you do it because that's what makes the transaction move closer to closing. But you're not doing it because you're an advocate for the handyman. You're doing it because it's going to get the transaction closed. See the distinction here? And so what I'm asking you right now is, is how many people that are small business owners, and I'm talking about restaurant owners, I'm talking about masseuse, massage therapists, uh, I'm talking about personal trainers, I'm talking about landscape architects, I'm talking about mow and go guys, you know, I'm talking about painters, uh, you know, I'm talking about uh, sh chimney sweepers, yeah, I'm talking about pet groomers, veterinarians, pet walkers, car detailers, car upholsters. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. How many of those businesses right now are you advocating for that are in your local market area? Here, I'll give you a, a cool statistic. Um, when a person moves into a house, they will spend 80% of all the money on the improvement of their home in the next five years in, in the first 90 days. So let's say in five years, they're gonna spend $10,000. They're gonna spend 8,000 of that in the first 90 days in the house. That's why when somebody moves in, Home Depot, all the restaurants, all the businesses start to pile into their mailbox because it's who do they connect with first is the one who gets the lifetime relationship. Such a vital concept that you understand that. Warren Buffett gets it. Warren Buffett actually named his company Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Not real estate. He recognizes the future of the business is the real estate agent who is deeply connected to the community, who can control and distribute and advocate for all the businesses. And in return, those businesses do the same. And so we've been working on the concept of how to build that network. 
how to create that as a strategic part of your business. And you're going to see Cindy Hayden and Beth Riebensorf and Jim Urban and Allison and Click and all different people within our community who have tapped into this vein, this amazing vein of opportunity right now. And they're getting three to five years ahead of the business. And I want you to look at this very carefully because this is the future of the business and Warren Buffett knows it. <laughs> Warren is so clear, he actually named the company Home Services because he knows that eventually the real estate industry, the the attack and the demonetization of the industry is occurring so quickly, the agent has to provide so much more value, so much more value. And that's why I want to help you guys do is, is build that network of businesses that you're advocating for and they're advocating for you. And I want to show you how to get it done real easy, real efficiently, real low cost, and, and do it in a way that it's actually fun. I mean, you wanna have a lot of fun? Start to connect with people who are having lots of conversations with people every day. You know, a, a lot of your referral success depends on a, a one key factor. Are the people in your network actually talking to people during the course of the day? So if I, if I called up all of the people in your centers of influence and I said to them, hey, I'm just curious, in the last week, how many people did you talk to? And let's say I called up 100 of them, and then I would have a total number at the end of calling 100 of them. I promise you, if I called 100 businesses in your area and asked the same question, the, the answer is going to be 100 times more people. The people you want to have in your network are the people who are in conversation with the most people day in and day out. Because it's in conversation is where we create opportunity. Actually, your income this month, right now, whatever amount of money you're going to make this month is a result of a conversation you had 90 days ago. Or the number of conversations you had 90 days ago. Or the number of people in your network that are having conversations with people daily that are introducing and recommending and talking about you. And that's what's so exciting is, is that when you ignite, I mean, really ignite your referral business by putting a referral accelerator blueprint in place, you're going to watch some things happen very quickly and very effectively. That's what I want to help you do. Actually, I don't even want to help you do it. I just want to do it for you. I just want to set the whole thing up for you so you can start to experience this. So, Video number two is coming uh, on Friday. I want you to watch it, video number two. Watch video number one. You just click on the link. Uh, Darlene, just put that into the, into the thread there. So go ahead and cl click on that link. It says referralacceleratorblueprint.com. Click on that link. And that's gonna be a place for you to really deeply engage in a conversation about building a, a real estate of the future and then adding to your, your formula, your success formula, building a base of business advocates. And I'm so excited to help you get from where you are to where you want to be so you can not only survive the eventual disruption and the demonetization of our commission structure and actually thrive. And I know how to do that. And I want to help you get that done. So what questions? What questions are coming up for you? Go ahead and put them into the thing there and I'll into the chat room there and I'd be glad to answer any questions for you. Phyllis, any question? Dolly, any question coming up? Terry, Charlene, Gail, Terry, Lisa, Nita, Becky. Hey, Becky, good to see you there. Gail, anything else coming in there for you? Any questions? Hey, Edgar. Hey, Lolly. Good to see you. Remember this last piece right here? This is the fourth pillar. So we have a pillar called your clients, your spheres of influence, your business advocates. And you look at your business and your networks, how do I connect all this together? How do I have my, my past clients, 
my centers of influence, and my centers of influence. These are people who have had an experience with me. And then I have business people who have no experience of me who are buying or selling a house with me, but I can advocate for them. And their experience of me is me helping them grow their business. It's me referring people to them. Now, the question you got to be asking yourself is, is how, how do I do that? How do I grow a list and build a network of 150 local businesses that I could advocate for that are really worthy of being advocated for? And I'm really excited to answer that question for you on Friday. All right. Yeah, on, uh, no, I'll a answer that question for you on Saturday after you watch video number two. Actually, it will get answered in video number two now that I think about it and how we go about doing that. And then on Saturday, I'll go a little deeper into it because on Saturday, what we're going to be doing is, is we're working on pillar number four right here at Compassion Ranch. This is my home. I'm here in Forestville, California, and I call my home Compassion Ranch. I've got a nice big three acre spread. I've got a big classroom here uh, where we have a, a 600 square foot yurt where we have 13 to 15 people who come in real comfortably and spend three or four days with me. And uh, starting uh, tomorrow at two o'clock, from two o'clock to eight o'clock at night, and then all day Saturday from eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night. And then on, uh, let's see, that's, uh, uh, we got, uh, and then Saturday, uh, and then Sunday, a half a day on Sunday, uh, we're gonna have uh, what we call is our Tribe Builders Club. And that's really the fourth pillar of your business. It's your tribes, it's your tribes. And we all have multiple tribes. I belong to, uh, a CrossFit tribe. I belong to a yoga tribe. Uh, I uh, just started, you know, going to this book club here in Sebastopol where a group of people get together and there's an author that comes in and they read a book. Sometimes there's three people there. Sometimes there are 15 people there, but I'm forming a tribe. A local church is a tribe. You know, I've taken some cooking classes. That's a tribe. And so we start to look at all the little groups that we belong to as our tribes. And when you put them all together, what you start to build is, is we call that a super tribe. And that's what we do here at Tribe Builders. Tribe Builders is uh, something we won't be talking about in Referral Accelerator. But I'm gonna put a little marker back over that. What we're gonna be focusing on uh, is just building this pillar of your business. So some of you right now, you're pretty good. You're, you, you got your centers of influence handled. You're doing pretty good with that. You, you, you're, you're staying in good contact with your past clients. You're doing good with that. You know, you're, 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 doing, you're doing your drop buys and you're doing your, oh, by the ways, and you're doing all the fundamental stuff or you're using our stuff and we're sending out really great things every month and connecting with your, your uh, centers of influence three to five times uh, a month. You're doing great with that. With that. The area that will accelerate your referral business is building a five star referral center where you can be an advocate for all the local businesses. And not only is it an enormous value to your buyers, your sellers, your borrowers, your friends, it's an extraordinary way to build relationships with people who have no experience of you. And I'm going to show you more and more of that as we get into these next videos. Friday, we have our video coming out, and then we have our video coming out on Sunday. So we have two more videos that are coming out, and then uh, several more live trainings. So I'm going to stop right here. Uh, have you gotten enough insight? Have you gotten some value from this today? And if you've gotten some value, what is that value? Yeah, thank you, Charlene. Charlene says, you know, uh, we've got to work harder. Uh, uh, we've, got to work, we've got to work smarter, not harder. And if we don't, tech will take away our job. The one thing that tech can't take away from you is relationship. Can't take that away from you. I, I just got done doing a, a massage with my uh, friend um, that has been working on me for the last couple years, Anthony Ebright. And thank you, Anthony's probably watching right now. And so what I did was, is I took my camera out right, right there. And I 
filmed a video of Anthony doing his work on me. He's a, a what he's called an active uh, motion massage. And what he does is he works these particular pressure points that link up to the brain to release the pressure. And so I was getting some work done with him and I literally just took out my cell phone and I went on to my buy referral community where, you know, many of you know this, I've got thousands of people in the buy referral community and I filmed a, a short video with Anthony and I put it right up on my Facebook page at the buy referral community page. And I'm just so grateful because all I want to do is promote and endorse Anthony. And so I published it right on the, on that. So I did a live Facebook right there for him. And when Anthony was done, he's going, nobody has ever done anything like that for me. Nobody's ever advocated or promoted me like this. Thank you so much. And all I did was in front of my, my tribe, my people who like, know, and trust me, all I'm doing is, is filming Anthony do what he loves to do, his active massage. And I'm showing him as he's doing it. And it was a seven minute video and he was teaching everyone what he's doing. And I'm doing this Facebook live. And when I'm done, he goes, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. That's advocating for somebody. Now I'm not a local real estate agent, but if I was, I promise you that I just moved to the close, if not to the very top of the list of somebody that he would absolutely recommend and endorse if one of the six people a day who come across his table that he's in a conversation with happens to say, hey, we're gonna be selling our condo. We're gonna be selling our house. My mom's thinking about moving. My name will come up top of consciousness because I am advocating for him. Now, multiply that by 100 or 150 people. Multiply that by a lifetime of leading with a giving hand, helping others get what you want. Zig Ziglar said, he says, if you want referrals, then you give referrals. Now, he didn't say that. I said that. But Zig said something like, if you help enough people get what, you know, get what they want, you'll get everything that you want. If you help enough people get what they want, you'll get everything that you want. Well, if you endorse, recommend, and refer, people to others, others will recommend and refer people to you as a pillar in your business. It's not all of your business. It's a pillar in your business. And it's a rock solid pillar. It's called your business advocate pillar. And absent of that, you're relying heavily on your sphere of influence and your past clients. Not that it's not a great place to rely on, but if you're interested in accelerating your referral business, you add this to your business. You add a five-star referral center. And I'm telling you right now, you guys, I am three to five years ahead of all the other trainers right now. The other trainers are probably watching this right now going, holy mackerel, we got to do something like this. Because absent of this, these are the people that technology will start to pick off. These are the ones that, these are, these are people who are subject to the, the Redfin myth or the Zillow myth or the Amazon myth because they got so much money to market. But these people right here have a vested interest in you being successful. So let's build really strong centers of influence. Let's build really strong client, past client relationships. And let's build that business advocate list. And then someday in the future, you might come out here and we'll work on the tribe pillar but a solid business has all four. And the one that we're focusing on right now is, is building that business advocate pillar in your business. All in favor of doing that, say aye. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love everything that we lay out here for you. And the coolest thing you guys is, we've got it all done for you. I spent the last three years, uh, God, my team will tell you, we probably have spent 10,000 hours in I'm, I'm gonna, I, I don't have a ballpark on this, but I'm gonna say at least two or $300,000, maybe $300,000 on research and development the technology to build this all out for you. So it just is a turnkey for you. You could have a five-star referral system up and going before the end of the year. I mean, we could be walking into 2020 with a complete pillar in your business 
called your five-star referral center. That's what we're up to because we've done all the work for you. We've tested, we've proven it, we've gone out and did all, all the work and you can have that. Now, you can do this on your own. There's no doubt about it. Every one of you could go out and do it on your own. And I'm gonna show you all different ways that you can do this on your own. Uh, and, and I respect and honor anyone who has the ability to get, it, get that done. But if you wanna get it done quickly and efficiently and effective and use a tested formula, you wanna look really carefully at what we're doing. So watch video number one, watch video number two, watch video number three, and after watching, well, three videos, if this is for you, jump all over it because I'm only offering it to a handful of people. I am not offering it to the whole world. I'm offering it to a handful of people uh, that are going to get into this. And then I'm going to train you on how to become the type of person who can build an extraordinary business advocate pillar in their business where we can double the number of referrals easily. All right. Well, by, if you're a by referral only member and, and you guys, all of the people are part of our community right now and you, we, we you, we're giving you complete access to this and you'll start this program. Uh, as soon as we start this next class up, you'll be starting that program. So you'll find more about that inside the private Facebook page at byreferralonly.com uh, in the, uh, the private uh, by referral only community page. We'll give you more details on this. So what I do want to ask my members to do, my buyer only members who are watching this right now, spread the word. Hand pick the three to five agents that you want to see become successful, that you want to see them not only survive, but thrive, you know, the coming disruption. Hand pick those people and then get them to watch video number one, then get them to watch video number two, and then watch video number three. Maybe you guys have a watch party together. And then have them take the the, the, the class with us and, 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 and get this set up in their business. And, and you guys will, you'll be the hero. You'll be the hero for doing that. So I want to thank you guys all for joining us. I will uh, see you on uh, the next video, which is on Friday. And then I will see you Saturday live from Compassion Ranch. We're going to go into the classroom and I'm going to introduce you to everybody at the Tribe Builders Club. And, uh, and I'm going to give you some really great stuff there. You're going to love that. All right. So Thanks everybody, have an amazing, fascinating evening and uh, spread the word, referral accelerator, blueprint.com. Thank you.